Hello everyone. Today we're going to show you how to take an existing template, modify it to your business needs, and then save it as a template so that you can reuse it without redoing all of the particular things that are for your business. So what you're going to do, you're going to open numbers and you're going to go to your business templates and you're going to go to invoice and then hit create. That's going to bring this up. Now, we're going to start with this and let me just show you what this is going to end up looking like. It's going to look like something like this. And then we're going to save this as a template so that then you can bring that back in time and time again and reuse it without recreating it. A couple of things that I want to tell you about this. If you click on this, you're going to see that these are text boxes here and here. If you go into each one, you can modify them. You see how I'm highlighting that? And then we're going to delete that out. Uh, or you could keep it. it uh, for the, what I want to do, I want to take it out. And then you can resize it. Hold your mouse button down and move it anywhere you want. Now, you notice the yellow lines. They're going to show you when everything is in line with each other. So that's what we want to do. And you're going to want to keep the fonts around the same size. And we'll just take this one and we're going to move it over to here. You'll see, see again, see the yellow line? Okay. And then click on the table and you can do the same with the table. And move it over so that everything is in alignment. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to come up here. We're going to change the name. And we're going to call it Frank's. Franks from world. Okay. Now, I want this to be a little bit larger, so I'm going to go over. We're going to highlight it, come over to text, and it is bold. Um, maybe we'll make it italicized, whatever you want to do, but I, I do want the point size to be 18. Likewise, I'm going to come over to here, invoice, make it bold, and make it 18 as well. And you can come in here and change the phone number to whatever you'd like. Okay. And like I said, you can you can play with these all you want, resize them. And then you got to grab these little handlebars and slide it over. Now, let's take a look at what I did over here. All right, so I just put my stuff in there. So I came in here and I took those out. Now here, I'm going to take change this to be, because you're going to need a place, or I would assume you're going to need a place for your customer name. Now, here in the table itself, you can, we can move it up, and if you're going to need more rows, you just click on this, drag it down, and it'll add however many rows you want. Again, this area down here is a text box, so you can just slide it up, and again, you can align it with the body of the invoice or over to the left, whichever you prefer. And then this blue line here, just take it and drag it up like that. All right, so that's how you arrange the items to customize it based on your business. Then you can go about doing whatever it is you want to do in the spreadsheet itself. So if you look at the one that I did, we have a description, quantity, unit price, and cost. So if you'll notice here, this is a drop down. So, how did we create drop down? So, let's go back to this one over here. I'll just come over here. All right. How do you create a drop down? So, you click in the cell, you go over to format, 
cell. You see the data format says text. So you click on this pop-up menu. It defaults to item one, item two, item three. Over here, you click on the plus sign and you add whatever it is you want. So if you're putting in, uh, since it was a drum thing, add another one. Uh, okay, now, then if you come up to item one, you, you take that out, take that out, take that out. Now notice it says um, pop up menu start with first item. I prefer to start with the blank. All right. So now what's going to happen is when you put your cursor in this A2, you see this little down arrow, you click on that and now you get your list and you can click on whatever you'd like. All right. Quantity, you just put in whatever it is. Now you're going to put in the unit price and you see it'll extend it out. Down here is your state tax here, and then this will extend it out. So here it's going to take your subtotal times the tax rate, show you what the tax is, and then add it here. And pretty much that's you can add as many items as you like in the in the pop-up. All right, and then each time now once you you're gonna once you do it in the first one you hit copy uh, highlight that area command V boom all right so now you're gonna see there you go it copied it so if you started here with none and then copied that Okay, so then it'll show you none. And that so that's how you get your drop down. Or if you wanted to change it from DW kit to a to a Gretsch kit or whatever. So there you go. You have your drop down. You have your formulas in. This is simply your quantity times your unit price gives you the extended amount. So let's take a look at the finished product. You can put any um, note that you want down the bottom. Notice I have a picture in the backdrop. So how did we do that? Okay. So how you're going to add a picture in there is you're going to go up to media and you're going to go to photos and you select any library that has photos in it. Um, I believe in here. So let's take this photo right there. Close our window. We're going to size it. Size the photo. And you can play with this. And then you're going to want to see how I'm lining it up there. And then we're going to size it again. Now I'm a little off to the right, but that's okay because that's what I want to do. Now you see I'm going to make it a little bit, try to make it a little bit bigger. There you go. Maybe bring it down a little bit. It's a little easier with a mouse than a trackpad. But okay, so now the problem is now all of the numbers and everything are behind this picture. So then what you do is over here, you're going to go to Arrange. And you're going to click on, you see Front is grayed out, meaning that that picture is in the front of the invoice. We're going to click on it to back. And then you're going to go to image. Oh, sorry, style. And then opacity. Slide this over to the left. And you see how it lightens up. And you can make it as wherever you wherever you 
feel it fits best. Now, if, if you're printing your invoices, you are going to want, unless you, you want to use a lot of color ink, um, you're going to want to print these as black and white. That way, it'll be just be shades of gray. And so that's how you would create a watermark. Or you could, if you have a logo for, let's say, Frank's Drum World, instead of a picture like this, I could have had that on there. So anything, if you have a business card that has a logo on it, take a picture of your business card, crop it so that it's just a logo without any of the verbiage, and then use that as your watermark for your invoice. The only other thing you're going to want to do is you're, when you go to print this, you, you're going to want to make sure that it fits on one page. If it moves over to other pages, you're going to want to adjust your page margins so that it's on just one page. All right? All right, so we have our, our template done. How you save this as a template when you're on your Mac, you go File, Save as Template. And click on it and add to Template Chooser. It's going to give it a name, say Untitled, so you, you can label it um, whatever you want to call it Invoice 1. Okay? Now, once you do that, it will be available for you under my templates. All right? So that you can recall that time and time again. And you don't have to change any of the headings, any of that, any of the formulas. It's going to be all set for you. And then you can just print them off for your customers. Or you can um, print it as a PDF and email it to your customer. Now, if you're doing this on an iPad, when you open your iPad, you're going to see the name of the invoice or whatever the template is, is going to be up here. You're going to click on this down arrow, export numbers template. So you can even create it on your iPad or your iPhone, and this is where you would save it. You're going to do a set of the iOS app does not have a save as template. It has export, and then from export, numbers template. And this is the same place. If you wanted to send it as a PDF, you would say save it as a PDF. All right. I hope this was helpful to everybody, and um, talk to you next time. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.